Hi, and welcome to 5-Minute Statistics for Clinical Research. My name is Caroline Herborn, and I am part of the Biostatistics team at JCP Service International. In clinical studies, usually a large number of data is generated. The challenging part is then to present the data in a structured and condensed way, to be able to show as much information as possible in an easily understandable manner. This can be achieved much better using graphical presentation than by using tables. Let's start with the most frequently used graphical visualization, the histogram. A histogram is a representation of tabulated frequencies, shown as adjacent rectangles drawn over discrete intervals. The area is proportional to the frequency of the observations within the interval. A histogram may also be normalized displaying relative frequencies. It then shows the proportion of cases that fall into each of the categories or intervals with a total area equal to 1. The categories are usually specified as consecutive non-overlapping intervals of a variable. They must be adjacent and are usually chosen to be of the same size, for example, the number of subjects in predefined age classes. Bar graphs are used to present categorical data, similar to a histogram, but the area has no meaning. Here plain numbers are shown, to compare groups or show trends. The bars can be plotted horizontally or vertically. Categories are usually of qualitative nature, for example, patient tolerability of a treatment. Another often used visualization of data are the box whisker plots. They reflect the distribution and scatter of data. The box extends from the lower quartile to the upper quartile. The line within the box is usually marking the median. The whiskers show the minimum and maximum values. If there are outliers, they are shown beyond these marks and are defined as those values which are more than 1.5 times of the interquartile range below Q1 or above Q3. They are marked additionally. Box whisker plots can give a clear overview of the data distribution, for example, the distribution of weights in a sample. Pie charts are used to show proportions, for example, between different categories of a variable or sample. The whole chart represents 100%, whereas certain degrees divided by 360 degree of the full circle gives you the percent for the distinct groups, for example, patients recruited in different countries. So pie charts are basically just another way to present frequencies. They are frequently used, but less intuitive since it is harder to compare areas in a circle for the human brain. Pictograms are simplified visualizations of relationships or numbers using symbols, objects or icons. Comparisons are made by the number of symbols or differences in the size of the symbols. For example, the number of patients per study site. It allows additional information to be presented such as the context of the graphic but may be misleading and may make comparisons more difficult to identify at a glance. Spaghetti plots are used to show changes in a certain variable over time. The advantage is that it can be shown for several patients. The change in time, for example, of the blood pressure for one person is then easy to follow. When interpreting these plots, the axis should always be considered since on a very small scale, for example, differences might appear larger. Spaghetti plots lose their clarity the more patients are included and as such it is not recommended to be used for a large number of patients. So that is it for today. As you can see, there are several possibilities to plot the results in a clear way. The appropriate visualization has to be chosen given it some thoughts on what should be shown. If there are any additional questions, our team of statisticians is happy to help you out. Leave us a message at statistics at gcp-service.com or leave a comment below. If you are significantly satisfied with the content, make sure to subscribe to not miss the next video. If there are outliers, they are shown beyond these marks and are defined as those values which are more than 1.5 times of the interquartile range below Q1 or above Q3. They are marked additionally. Box whisker plots can give a clear overview of the data distribution, for example, the distribution of weights in a sample.